This is Jeff Mucci with RCR Wireless News. We're here at day one at TIA inside the network with Allison Sarah from Alcatel Lucent. Allison, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Um, you've written two books. The first one, The Shift. The second one, Identity Shift. Can you talk about some of the differences between book one and book two? Sure. So the first book, The Shift, was really about leveraging the network as a development platform. So we went out, Alcatel Lucent had this concept of there's a lot of value to be extracted from the network. Things like presence of users, profile, location, quality of service, billing, security, etc. We wanted to find out is there value in some of those network elements. So we went out across 11,000 respondents in the ecosystem, developers of all types and sizes, advertisers and users of all sizes, and we really asked very pointed questions about how those capabilities could be monetized with new business models in a different way. That was the genesis of the shift. We validated that there is a business model around the network far more than just a transaction between the end user and the service provider. But as you can imagine, some of the more compelling capabilities especially as measured by advertisers and even some developers, were the contextual-based capabilities, things like presence, profile, and location of the end user. Anytime you raise those capabilities, you also open up potentially a bevy of concerns around privacy. And so the second book is around identity on the network. It's called Identity Shift, and that is where we went to more than 5,000 end users, again, from the youngest of teenagers to the oldest of retirees and empty nesters, and really tried to understand how they process their identity on the network and where they perceive the value to be for you companies to monetize that information in a responsible way. And that's kind of where identity shift picks up the story and gives kind of the terrain of where the landmines versus the gold mines are in that kind of debate. Can you talk about the intersection between psychology and technology? Yeah, so for identity shift, that's really what we talk about. It is at that intersection where psychology meets technology. And the reason we say that is because I can't speak about identity in a credible way if I don't go and rely upon the scores of psychological research over the decades, right, and hundreds of years of how we think and how we behave as human beings. But at the same time that that's been tried and true and happening since our existence on this planet, there's this interesting confluence of the technology coming in at the same time and radically changing the way we perceive ourselves and the way we react to others. And so what we try to do is really rely upon the scores of evidence of psycho psychological research, intersect that with how technology is changing the paradigm, and give that kind of crosshair view of what does that mean when you start to intersect those two domains. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, just drop.